So, welcome to my easy, solo, legendary, lost sector guide for Perdition. Uh, yesterday was Bunker, today is Perdition. On the upside, today I'm actually showing you the mods with the correct layout, instead of, you know, what I wanted to use because different champions. Uh, so today, same, same loadout as yesterday, same mods as yesterday, uh, overload submachine gun again. Not gonna bother with anti barrier again because, again, it's just not needed in an 11 3 boss sector with these mods. Uh, that being said, I did try the master boss sector with the same loadout. You do, you do need the barrier. Yeah, um, so on this one, the uh, Icolos submachine gun is the best bet just because the uh, harpies, as you may have noticed, have some arc shields on them and this loadout. You need up. I mean, I don't hit every shot. No one hits every shot. So, again, the um, same kind of tactic as last time, uh, you, um, I mean, you could use a Warmind build here, because this is another fairly enclosed lost sector. This, uh, this along with Bunker, these are the two easiest legendary lost sectors on Europa. Uh, anything, anything other than this is a little bit different. You want to keep your distance. Got a place that you can work from, keep on ducking back to, look up every now and then. And I'm using a warlock again just to show well the exact same loadout and skill size last time again, but th again this works on Hunter and Titan with any subclass. This particular lost sector is, is pretty good because, I mean, again, I'm showing you the... There's a very, very small number of points that you just need to stand it and wait for them to come to you. That being said, try not to walk over that vex map. But, yeah, and a flawless solo legendary lost sector is pretty easy on this with this loadout. Just need patience and let them come to you a lot.
Now, you may have already noticed that this is a barrier champion. This is not something I immediately noticed. So, um, yeah. Now I've noticed it anyway. said that barrier mods were not necessary this season. They're not technically necessary this season, you just um, just need to time the damage a little bit better than I did on this one. A lot better than I did on this one. See? Go there eventually. Now with this last room, honestly, you just stay here the whole time. Don't, don't go over there, don't move, and uh, the, this is where the Eclos comes back to being your friend, because of all of those little barriers again. But you just want to clear out the ads, ideally you use a, uh, an arc grenade with some kind of chain reaction on it with a green. Uh, also salvage a salvo, if you wanted to use a different primary salvage of salvo would be very helpful in terms of breach and clear and clearing out bits and pieces like this. But the, uh, honestly, the, the ads, the champions took, took more effort than the boss did, as you can see. And then you just clean up the room. Now, I, I don't actually have any idea if finishing up these ads helps towards the exotic armor drop rate or not. I mean, you'd assume so, based on the fact that you're still getting points for Kalamon. You know, you're still getting points up until you open that chest, I believe. There you go. So, it makes sense to think that the more points you have, the better the loot would be. Um, I'd already actually got the exotic armor for this particular loss setter. I just wanted to show the, the loadout working again. Uh, the, the only armor I have left is the helmets, which should be coming through on the reset for Master tonight and Legendary tomorrow. And that, on the upside, I, uh, I'm looking forward to doing that as well and finishing off the exotic collections for all three characters. So yeah, thank you very much. You have fun.